Such a great honor to introduce RJ Benjamin, who's in our studio today, and he is currently the music director for both Idols and Clash of the Choirs. So, what made you actually decide to take similar roles, and what does your role entail? I need to be around for the for the auditions. Like that process is very important. I'm very much an assistant to the choir masters who select their choir. I'm there to try and guide them and hopefully help them make the right decisions if they're worried that they can't make the right decisions themselves. I'm also there to to screen um, singers because you know I mean we this year especially we've had a crazy turnout as far as um, numbers go for auditions and. Um, if the choir masters were to have to see all those people, you know, th it would probably, th this process would, would probably take a week. But, uh, you know, I'm, I mean, a lot of artists find it's very hard to say no. And I think, um, you know, uh, I'd, I'd rather that they were saying no to people, you know, that were... So you're the harsh one. You're just like, no. person steps up, you look at them, you're like... Look, I'm there to sift through. The absolute not worth getting through to the next round, uh, I'd rather that we didn't waste the choir master's time with those kind of people. You know. So what do you look for? And that's the other thing, it's, it's a far more complex uh, process um, for the most part than an idols process. Because I, I think with idols, it's easy to see that it factor if it's there. You see it straight away. It's easy to hear that this person has a present voice and, and, and is a great performer and all those kind of things. Whereas with, with Clash, it's not so much about that um, visual uh, uh, presentation. It's not about a voice that stands out for, for the most part. It's about a voice that is able to blend with other voices. Um, and so what I do is I do a lot of tests with, with the singers. I do a lot of things where I check whether they can harmonize. Um, I first, of course, make sure that they know what that means. Um, but then, of course, you know, I'll make them harmonize with me. So if I'm going to sing the tenor part, then they must sing the alto or whatever it may be. And then from there, I'm checking, can their voice blend with mine? You know, and I'll do little things like, for example, sing soft, sing loud, sing a dead straight note, add a little bit of a shake to my voice, see if they can follow me. Because that's, th that's telling me that they're listening to what I'm doing. And of course, when you've got a choir of 20 people, you need the best listeners in the business. And so, yeah, it's, it's quite a tricky process. And I mean, last year we saw Durban actually winning the Clash of the Choirs competition under choir master Kayam Tetwa. And this year they have musical giant, I mean, Robbie Malenga. Do you think they still stand a great chance? <laughs> you know, what I love about Clash of the Choirs is, I mean, you know, I'm an artist myself, so I hear these choir masters in front of me, like Kaya last year, and I'm like, you know, in my mind, I'm like, ah, you know, these guys who win idols, they're, they're not really that good, or, you know, I think a lot of, uh, a lot of us have these, the, these pre-conceived uh, opinions, and working with him on the show was a chance for me to understand this man, musically speaking, and I realized he's an excellent musician, and the same process will happen this year, so... Robbie has chosen his choir. That's already happened. Um, and, and, and from my side, it's, it's a case of what, how is Robbie musically? We, we know he's had this amazing track, track record with people like Kelly Kumala and then, of course, Zahara. Um, but now we want to see what he's really capable of. And, uh, and in, a, in a strange way, Clash kind of shows just how musical our music legends are. So I, I can't tell you yet. I mean, I can tell you I was there and part of the process. I think he picked a great choir. Um, but it's really now all about his arrangements. Does he have the kind of arranging skills that a Kaya has? Do any of the choir masters have those kind of skills, like a Kaya or a Zwai, Bala, you know? And we'll, we'll find out uh, shortly. Um, the proof is really, really in the pudding. You select your choir, that's great. Now you've got to actually arrange choral music, you know, you've got to arrange the parts of the sopranos, altos, tenors, bass, whatever it may be, and make it sound good.